The Auditor General's uh, Department says it did no wrong in its report faulting the GET Fund for a haphazard uh, doling out of scholarships without recourse to his own laws. In a report with uh, which cites a myriad of infractions, the Auditor General said it found more than a thousand 200 beneficiaries who did not submit basic uh, documents such as admission letters. Uh, lead auditor Alberta Owu has been speaking to Kamala Kluche. The audit performance of uh, the Auditor General on the administration of scholarships by the Ghana Education Trust Fund, or simply the GET Fund, has caused a lot of uproar in the country. A lot of names have been mentioned as uh, receiving scholarship as needy uh, students, most especially abroad. Well, the main architect of this report is the audit service, and the team leader is here joining us to give us some explanations as to how the, they came about this report and whether due diligence was done. Alberta O is the lead auditor for uh, the Get Fund audits. What specifically were you looking at with respect to the Get Fund? Where the purpose of the audit was to ascertain whether Get Fund acted in accordance to its act in administering scholarships in Ghana. So that's what the focus of the audit was on. So, so when you did that, your conclusion was what? Our conclusion was that Get Fund didn't follow the procedures in administering scholarships in Ghana because there are um, policies and procedures to follow as an institution to administer scholarship and also according to the mandate of Get Fund. The mandate of Get Fund according to their act is to provide scholarship to Ghanaian students. You give me an education. You went to the Get Fund, you went into their books, and you realized that they had uh, flouted their own rules. Were there supporting documents uh, they gave you to indicate that, yes, indeed, this money is where it is best? Yes, please. We reviewed their documents pertaining to applications from beneficiaries. We reviewed documents on approvals. We reviewed benefit the bank statements, transfer letters to the banks, and also the SWIFT, that is the transfers from the banks to the schools. We reviewed all these documents and they were all available. They made, were made readily available to us by Getsman. And, and what was one compelling thing or the most compelling thing is when you were reviewing the bank statement? most especially from Get Fund, the monies were released. Do you say that was exactly what you found out? Yes. We've, the, the swift, so far as they are swept, then it means that the money has, been, has left the, the banks to the accounts of the schools. So the monies were released to the schools. Yes. But were you able to verify whether indeed the students who have been mentioned have indeed receive the monies or not? Monies to the schools were released to the schools. Those ones don't go to the accounts of the students. It is the daily, the stipends, that is the living allowance, that went to students. The Get Fund had record, records on the receipts, that, that is the letters, that they, so they had confirmation letters that states that this amount of money should be transferred to beneficiary A, or beneficiary B who is in this school. So we saw those confirmation letters and then we saw